How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be talking about four confirmed home run derby players in MLB The Show 22 so let's go ahead and get right into it. Keep in mind we're about to get brand new Battle Royale rewards double XP which is going to cause those Takashi bosses to drop in price significantly and I would recommend buying a lot of those Takashi players because they will go back up in price once there is a part two for that Takashi collection. Uh, we almost have 20 players. One more player would make it 20, so I would expect that uh, to be released sometime you know, in the next month. Uh, but we do have four confirmed Home Run Derby players. One of them is, in fact, going to be Juan Soto. Talked about him in my previous video yesterday. We have Pete Alonso, who keeps winning the Home Run Derby, and he got the only 99 overall Home Run Derby card because of that. So I am kind of hoping that Ronald Acuna wins the home run derby this time around. I want a 99 overall Ronald Acuna card. Uh, that'd be pretty awesome. He is going to participate. This is another confirmed home run derby player. And I'm hoping they give him one more attribute in fielding. I know that might sound interesting, right? Why would they give a home run derby card higher fielding than his live series? But they got to make it a 99 somehow. And if it's just one attribute point, then he'll at least get gold defense in right field. If they give him six attribute points, then he'll at least get gold defense in all of the outfield positions at parallel five. Uh, we also have Albert Pujols, which I think is the most surprising choice, uh, the most surprising selection for the home run derby. I didn't think there was a chance Albert Pujols would participate being as old as he is, uh, but this is really awesome. I know a lot of people are going to be hoping that he wins it. Uh, I just personally don't necessarily like uh, some of his swing types in the game. He does have three different swing types. If you don't know exactly what I'm talking about, I made a video explaining all of the swing types and kind of really breaking it down and trying to explain it to the best of my ability. Uh, there are a lot of different swings in the game, and Albert Pujols is a good example of you know a certain stride animation that is very unique. He's the only guy that has it, um, but he has three different swings, which I think is also unique. Um, this one right here is my least favorite of the three. I would say uh, Albert Pujols, I think it's 2000 one is better i think this one is the best one um and then 2008 would be the second best i just i don't know if this is the right swing type though that's what i was confused about i was looking at that i'm like i don't know if i've ever swung with albert pools like that uh, but this is definitely the card uh for his rookie of the year or at least the swing that's on his rookie of the year card in the game see see his stride right there very unique doesn't even pick it up really um, and it can be tough to get the timing down. But anyway, I'm getting off track. I am really excited about the Home Run Derby. I'm really excited about uh, the Home Run Derby content, the All-Star Game content. Uh, I think we might get the program first, then the Home Run Derby content, and then maybe more All-Star Game content after the All-Star Game actually takes place the following day. I'm not 100% sure, right? We can only see up until July 18th. I think it might be like three sets of content. I don't think I mentioned that in my previous video. But nonetheless, we're going to have a bunch of content. But here we have a diamond. We get a diamond out of a chase pack. This is going to be this is going to be Mike Trout. This is going to be face of the franchise Mike Trout. That's the wrong Mike Trout. I need live series Mike Trout. Well, I guess I don't really need him. I, I do have 320-something uh, thousand stubs. I know it says 220 right there, but take a look at it now. I've been flipping these. Uh, Home Run Derby X Pack players. I have a hundred of them stashed away, and I have three hundred and thirty thousand stubs. Uh, I also completed at least some of the monthly award program, both the June and the July. Uh, I have been able to unlock that Chris Sale card. Uh, we had you Darvish revealed yesterday as the last Battle Royale flawless, not the last one of the year, but just the second reveal, the second card in this pack. Uh, and this card might be decent. I know. Most people will probably take Cedric Mullins over you Darvish, uh, but you Darvish might be pretty good. I think they might give him a sinker instead of a, just a straight four seam. I think you might have a very similar pitch repertoire to Greg Maddox, except for a 12-6 curveball instead of a regular curveball. Um, I don't know. I don't know. But we also have Mike Napoli, 97 overall, second half card. This card will be pretty good. Probably better than Mike Piazza. I think he has a better swing. He'll probably be a better hitter. Uh, might not have as good of defense as Piazza. That sounds interesting to say. Uh, I think he'll have bronze defense. He might have very similar defense to Jimmy Fox. But that Mike Napoli card will be on a lot of people's teams. I might, e I might even put him in my lineup. Um, I have not completed this collection. I could unlock Jordan Alvarez. I just don't think it's worth it right now. 
I think those monthly award players are going to drop in price once the All-Star Game players come out. And I think the Takashi cards are going to go way up in price once there is another collection that comes out. But that's going to do it for this video. I'm College Lefty, and peace out.